Our next presentation is by my old friend, Philip Hodgetts. He has a company called in Intelligent Assistance, and he's been helping me out for years and years. Uh, we've been going up to NAB every year for, I don't know, 18 years or something, and Philip was used to cut all of our material for streaming every week as a favor, you know. And he's going to do so again. <laughs> and I've asked him to cut this one, just for old time's sake. So uh, he has a new uh, product, uh, Intelligent Assistance. Does, he's a, a smart guy. And uh, he and his partner, Greg, uh, come up with some uh, great um, uh, plugins uh, to work with a lot of different systems. And they've developed their own uh, lumberjack uh, system. And he's going to tell you all about it. So take it away. Thank you. It, it, it is Cuffles Day because my husband gets, writes the software that I'm going to talk about and I get to come and take all the credit for it. So it's a good arrangement. <laughs> um, Lumberjack is really um, a new, relatively new offering from Greg and I. Um, intelligent Assistance, you may be more familiar with some of our other apps like the translation apps between Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro um, and some t reporting tools and a change list tool for uh, Premiere Pro. If you don't know what a change list tool, don't worry, you don't need to know. If you need to know, you know. If you don't need to know, you don't know. A reporting tool so you can get all the sorts of reports out of Premiere that you want. And a, a whole suite of tools for Final Cut Pro 10 that just integrates it better into the production ecosystem. But Lumberjack is kind of separate. It actually is a separate corporation um, because we incorporated our friend Serena Catania in the organization as a, um, as a tech um, evangelist and trainer. So Lumberjack is a logger because that's obvious, right? Lumberjacks are loggers. <laughs> uh, sorry, I look, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good pun and that's the best one I've come up with so far. So we started logging in the field um, with the, the real-time logger. You can go anywhere in the world and if you've got a phone, you can push a light, turn a light switch on and turn a light switch off. You can log keyword ranges in the field that are aligned with the media when she comes back into either Premiere Pro or Final Cut. In the also in the logging area, there's note logger. Note logger is used on big productions where there's might be four or five people logging and logging more extensive notes on those productions. For the longest time, uh, Serena said you need a logging tool for for logging footage that's already been shot. It's all right for stuff you're shooting new, but for stuff that's already shot, you need a tool. I said, no, no, no. Final Cut's so good for logging. It's better than any other NLE I've used for logging ever. Says the guy who hasn't logged in the NLE for about three years at this point. And uh, I did have to log in the NLE, and within three days after that, we had a backlogger. Uh, and it all comes together with the lumber yard because that's where logs are processed, is it, lumber yard? <laughs> it's kind of a departure, but out of the logging range is the builder app. What do you do with timber once it's cut in the logging yard? You build something with it. Builder is a text-based NLE. Um, you might have heard of Descript or Redux late, and Johnny Come Lately and a little bit of what Adobe are doing. They're coming in about where we were five to eight years ago um, with NLE, and I'll show you more of that. Look, there's a lot in Lumberjack, and I could spend the entire time I've got and a whole lot more than I've got talking about the features and the workflows. The features are fabulous, the workflows are simple, but I'd rather talk about how people have actually used it and benefited from it already. And the sort of radically different workflows that are enabled by logging during the shoot or by using a text-based video editor. So, for example, this was a long ongoing um, series out of Boston. Um, they shoot a studio, multicam studio. They used Lumberjack, and you can see the results there are actually quite spectacular. That's not just one episode. That was the entire 16-episode series done actually in 40 minutes and a few seconds. So that's 16 30-minute episodes gone to first cut from just by logging in the field and using some of the string out features in Lumberyard in 40 minutes. That would be weeks of work without, without using Lumberjack. In the lockdown, a long running show in Britain called um, Have I Got News For You, which is a news, a satirical news show. They had to shoot remotely and because um, Lumberjack uses time of day rather than complex time code, they, they do isolated records at each of the physical locations where somebody was working plus the Zoom uh, that brought them all together. And when they laid that up against the media that they got when they got it all back to the central editing location, all of the logging was already done and they knew where they were going, so the bins were organized. And this is not like hours after you get the media organized. This is seconds. Um, the longest time is exporting the XML and importing the XML back into the video editor. 
that takes more time than we take to process it and do all this great work. One of our great members up in, in Denmark is, um, is Metronome, which is part of the Endemol Shine group. You may have heard of them. And they started working with NoteLogger on this show called One Born Every Minute. They were logging 20 cameras around a maternity hospital, and uh, hence the name of the show, One Born Every Minute. And um, that, that was their first. And as soon as they came that into the edit bay, everything is already logged. All the, all the favorites are already isolated. All reject ranges that have said, this is, this is no good, don't use this, they're already rejected. It all happens just within minutes of finishing ingesting the, the material. So they went on and used it on an even, even bigger show and said, hey, can you change NoteLogger so that we can run multiple copies at the same time? Because we've got four people logging this show and we need a fifth person that's actually supervising and looking at all the material that's being logged. It, again, it dramatically reduced the editing time because they were ready to start editing the moment they finished importing instead of having that long lag. You know, if you want to put numbers on it, typically you'll save, just on a simple production, about $180 for every hour of footage that you shoot compared with logging it in an edit bay. Uh, there's a calculator on our website. You can go and put your own numbers in and see for yourself. Another Danish production company, S um, STV, um, also in Copenhagen, had this semi-scripted children's show. These are not professional actors, these are kids that are acting, and so they didn't have, give them dialogue. They, gave, they said, we need a scene and we need you to cover these points in that scene. So that's what they mean by semi-scripted. And so they logged that as they shot it. So when they came into the edit bay, everything was already organized into the, the scene that it was supposed to be, even though you couldn't search on dialogue because it didn't ex the dialogue was never written. Instant organization with just a very quick pass through the lumber yard. This guy gave himself an impossible task. They decided at a live event that they wanted to shoot uh, interviews from people arriving outside, and they wanted to show the first edited interstitial piece at about 22 minutes into the, pro the program. Not exactly the simplest thing to do, and something that would create you, give you very high stress if you didn't have lumberyard, lumberjack to work with. And so as they were shooting, that's my husband in the, in the matching outfit, because it's a good lumberjack uh, visual clue, um, logging this. They were ready to go about with the first interstitial about five minutes after finishing ingesting the media. They had a ton of time to spare rather than being a stressful situation. And um, on the intelligent assistance side, one of our, our customers said, the thing you guys sell is actually your sleep. <laughs> and uh, Chris is going to give us a bonus because we thinks we deserve the money. Uh, another, another show, um, Big Knockout Boxing, it was a direct, um, a direct TV original programming a couple of years back. It was a combination, the same footage was used as a, as a one hour uh, concert show, multicam concert show, a half an hour, half hour docu-reality docu series both with hundreds and thousands of assets and hours of footage. Uh, Mark Buck, the editor on that project, said that Lumberjack saved him two days of work on every episode um, on a very tight schedule. The last, the last episodes were turned around in weeks. Well, I think one week on the last one. We looked at all of the logging and how the great benefits of logging real time during the shoot. Um, and, you know, I log everything. You know, even if I don't think I'm going to use it, we do, we, for a couple of years, my husband and I did a thing called Lunch with Philip and Greg, which was exactly what it sounded like. Uh, we put up some cameras, we mic'd everybody, we talked about people's life, their work, over lunch. And, um, and then we put that together. I logged everything, even though I was just basically the edit was a simple cut down, cut out the too much open mouth food stuffing in and uh, cutting around that and making sure you got a couple of different um, angles going on. Then there came the moment we, that somebody was working on an, a documentary about the launch of Final Cut Pro 10, and they wanted all of the people, all of the stuff that we had talked about from all of those lunches. And it, it took me half an hour to go through, consolidate all of my ed projects into one library, export um, the single keyframe, drag the, the key, key word, sorry, that was Final Cut Pro 10 into a new library, consolidate that library by exporting it to a new drive, and within about half an hour, I had gone through 40 different lunches, 37 different lunches, and picked out the relevant bits for Final Cut Pro uh, and its launch, and had that to the documentary editor. And about four pieces got into the final program, so I was happy with that. 
in 2015, just after the year after Lumberjack was launched to the public, um, the editors of O.J. Simpson Speaks, the, the hidden tapes, there were two related documentaries, asked us to get, sent us a wonderful thing about the Ambit claim about what they'd love to have. Um, and what we could deliver was actually getting, through the version of Lumberyard that we had at the time, getting the transcripts back into Final Cut so they could use that to search and find the sound bites. And they were relatively happy with the results. I will point out, this is where Adobe is at right now. You know, 2015, we, we, thought we did it into Final Cut Pro, but in Adobe have actually finally caught up to getting transcripts for searching within Premiere Pro. The editorial team were incredibly happy. Greg and I thought it sucked big time. It was terrible. It was just a horrible, horrible editing experience. There was no way you could see the story that you were building. Again, you had to go back to play through the whole thing every time you, were, you wanted to review the story. We knew we could do better. And it's not, not just Final Cut was a bad, bad place for this. Every tr traditional and non-traditional NLE, NLE was equally bad at editing, trans working with transcripts. And all of these descripts and, and, and redux, they haven't got a lot better. They're still working with one transcript at a time. They, they're not really giving you any sort of power feature tools. The reason we knew that we could do this is because we had already done it in 2010. We built the first um, text-driven video editor that has ever existed, and we called it Predit, producer edit, pre-edit, you know, we keep it vague. Nobody, everyone makes it do the same thing. Um, now, that we released that at the end of 2010, and there was something happened in 2011, Apple killed Final Cut or something, that it never reached its full potential. And we didn't think that there was a, a, a demand for it in Final Cut at the time. But in 2018, again, long before your Redux, long before your, your Descripts, we built a full text-driven video editor, a proper NLE. It's got clip management. It's got a whole bunch of, of great features. Uh, everything you could want. You can put up keywords. It's the fastest place to log outside of real time on the shoot um, because you can, log, you can read through transcripts far faster than you can, than you can listen to things. Um, it, it's the only one of these text-driven video editors that is aimed at production people. It, you don't have to do any clumsy workarounds for multicam. You don't have to upload media to the cloud. It's all on your local system, and it's designed for professionals by somebody who's at least had some video editing experience. It's changed things because we now integrate transcription free, unlimited, um, transcription in 16 languages and translation to English included. Um, oh, that's important from, you know, in a minute. And it is free. The reason I want to point that out is that for the entire of my production career, which is more than three weeks, um, well, I've been told you can have good, you can have fast, or you can have cheap. You can have any two of those. You can't have all three until now. And that, you know, the Whisper, the uh, API that we, uh, model that we use, is extremely accurate. It's more accurate than my ears could tell. On a piece of, a piece of footage uh, that I always used as a way artificial uh, intelligence driven transcripts were sometimes bad, it did an absolutely perfect job and decoded uh, the, the, the venue in a way that I had never heard because it's a, it was on camera microphone in a courtyard with a PA. So you can imagine what the quality of the audio really is. And it did a better than human job at transcribing. On Apple Silicon, it's over six times faster than real time. So a 60 minute tra um, interview is transcribed in 10 minutes. And being concluded free in, in your membership, it breaks that paradigm too. It's better than sheep, it's free. So I'm not gonna push this point, but if the, I am fascinated by AI. It's something I've been studying for 10 years and its implications in, in production. And this is the first time we've broken that paradigm. It's been used on, on everything from uh, personal projects, um, 
OWC Radio, you may know them as Max Sales. Um, OWC have a long, lo big media production department. They do um, a lot of interviews with filmmakers, both video Zoom interviews, um, and they pull out social media and, and, sort of, and audio production only, and they pull out a lot of social media clips. It's all work, all done with Lumberjack Builder. Every single thing is done in Lumberjack Builder uh, and finished in Final Cut. I mentioned that we have a translate to English. My German friend says to me that it actually works in any, translating any of the supported languages. He translated French to German um, without, without being official f an official feature. So uh, I need to explore that further. But certainly the English translation has enabled at least two teams that I know of to work in edit a language that they do not speak. Um, John Matthews, working for the BBC Scotland, edited a Gaelic program and he does not speak Gaelic. But they did a translation to English, aligned the translation to the video. You build the story with the English text, and at the same time, you're building the, the Gaelic um, video edit at the same time. Because that's what you're doing in Builder. As you would do work with the, or the text, you're working with the video and audio as well. Um, the, 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 it, it is still timed to, um, to um, each, each word break. So it's, it's still going to be accurate. And the other thing is you have the video at any time. So you can, check the, you can check the edit and you can roll backwards and forwards and make sure you have the actual exact edit point. But he found it extremely accurate and extremely valuable. And uh, at the Museum of Modern Art in Boston right now, one of their people is working in a Japan, on a Japanese project and he does not speak Japanese. Heard is heading for PBS, if it hasn't already been on. Um, it is a big documentary project on the relationship between uh, the Inuit and caribou, the animal. Um, and we worked with the direct uh, researcher filmmaker David Borish for a couple of years ahead of his job. Um, and he discovered a sort of off-brand or off-label use and used a Builder as an analytical tool uh, for um, a, a statistical analysis, I think, or something else, um, some other sort of analysis way over my head, but he's now recommending that to a whole bunch of other researchers as a research tool as well as, well as a filmmaking tool. Lumberjack system has been proven across a range of production styles and, um, and broadcast, of broadcast production styles and complexities. It scales from teams of one, me, because when I'm doing my family history project, I'm the cameraman, I'm the audio guy, I'm the interviewer, and I'm their relative. So it's, it's, it, it's, there's a lot of ways that we make it very easy for you to do that because you don't have to pay attention to the logging all the time that you're working with interviews. Everything, unlimited use of all the apps for, for any number of teams comes for $15 a month um, with a 12 month commitment, $25 a month if you don't want the commitment um, and it, or 150 a year if you'd like to pay it once. And um, you can scan the barcode to, to take you to Lumberjack System or it's lumberjacksystem.com. And please, philip at lumberjacksystem.com if I can help you understand any of these things any better. Let's hear it for Philip. Wow, you're so far ahead of everybody.